There's a mysterious girl living in Tansa Cavite. A girl who can't remember her name but remember everything else. The name of this girl is Minda Ando. She is married to a man named Takashi Ando. One day, while she is working, she finds her bracelet that had her name engraved on it. She felt like a cat or a dog but she was careful to wear the bracelet every time. In case she forgot her name, all she had to do is to glance at her bracelet. Mina began to worry that forgetting her name might be a disease, like an early sign of Alzheimer's. She went to the hospital and explained her situation. What can I do for you? Doc, I think I have a problem in forgetting my name. And I think it's severe illness. Maybe you just have this stress this past few days. That's why you've been having that kind of problem. No, I think I have illness. Mrs. I don't think you have. Just come back here if you have something like you like your neck. And I'll be taking one to be the problem. Alright, thank you. Mina, I called you here in my office because your co-worker told me that you always been out of your money. And it seems like you're drowning in your own stuff. As your uncle, of course, I care for, I care for you, Mina. I'll give you a psychiatrist call card and try to consult with you. I'm doing this because I care for you. Take care for yourself always. I don't think I need that, uncle, but thank you anyway. I should go. Thanks again, uncle. Okay. because they're always assist my mother and my father in our business. But there is one thing that always comes to my mind, which is my schoolmate that take her own life because of depression. Mina tells Sakaki about her friend Yuko and what happened to Yuko when they are still studying. Yuko just go out the room without any word and that was the last time that Mina saw her. Mina tell everything to Sakaki about her experience and including the missing name tag. After Mina's session with Sakaki, she is walking and thinking about the name tag. While she is walking, someone calling her name and when Mina turned around, she saw a monkey. You can talk? Yes, I can. There's one thing I need to apologize for you. When I broke into her place, 
I wasn't planning to take anything besides the name tags. But I was so hungry, I, end up, I ended up grabbing three bananas that were on the table. Why do, you, why do you steal the name tag? It's what I do. I'm a monkey who takes people's names. It's a sickness I suffer from. Once I fix on the name, I can, I can help myself. Not just any name, mind you. I see a name that attracts me, and then I have to have it. I know it's wrong, but I can't control myself. Were you trying to break into our dorm and steal Yuko's name tags? Mm, yes, I was. I was head over heels in love with Miss Matsuna. I've never been so attracted to somebody in my life. But when I wasn't able to make her mine, I decided that no matter what I had to at least have her name, if I could possess her name, then I'd be satisfied. But before I could carry out my plan, she passed away. Did you have anything to do with her suicide? No, I didn't. I had nothing to do with that. She, she was just overwhelmed by an inner darkness. But how did you know, after all these years, that Yuko's name tag was at my house? It took me years to trace it. When Miss Matsunaga died, I tried to get her name tag from the bulletin board. But it was already gone. Nobody had any idea where. I worked my butt off trying to track it down. But no matter what I didn't, I couldn't locate it. It didn't occur to me at the time that Miss Matsunaga would have left her name tag with you. Since you were, you were not particularly close. But where do you steal my name tag too? When it is you post? I suffered a lot because of what you did. I'm very, I'm very, very sorry. When I like someone's name, I ended up snatching it. I do steal people's name, no doubt about that. But in doing so, I'm also able to remove some of the negative elements that stick to those names. I don't mean to brag, but if I'd been able to steal Yoko's Matsunawa's name, name back, then she might, uh, she might very well not have taken her life. Why do you say that? Along with her name, I might have been able to take up away some of the darkness that was inside her. Alright then, tell me everything you know and I will forgive you. The monkey tells everything to Mina and after Mina had her conversation with the monkey, she get her name tag and throw into the pond. She finally had her name back and could resume a normal life. Things might work out, then again, they might not. But at least she had her name now, a name that was hers and hers alone.